Hello friends and welcome to Leg Life. In today's video, we are talking about must have items for your upcoming Disney cruise. In just over a month, we are leaving for our third Disney cruise. So we have started our packing list. So we wanted to share with you some of the things that we are including for our cruise and we think that you should as well. Item number one, Disney cruise ears. We actually see this question a lot in online Disney cruise forums. People asking, is it okay to wear ears on Disney Cruise Line? Sherry, what do you think? Yes, it is. So there are not <laughs> as many people on the Disney Cruise Line that wear their ears as there are in a park, but you've never felt out of place wearing Disney cruise ears. I still wear them. And there are people really all over the boat, all days of the cruise wearing ears. So if you have Disney ears, definitely wear them on your cruise. Yes. Number two, a small day bag for your first day. With Disney Cruise Line, you are going to drop your luggage off before you board the ship with their luggage attendants. And you're actually not gonna get your luggage at your stateroom until much later in the day. So there's gonna be several hours where you don't have access to your luggage. So you wanna keep a day bag with you as your carry-on that has anything you might need for the first several hours. That could include medication, um, your swimsuit if you want to swim on, in the pools before you actually get your luggage. So anything you wanna have with you the first several hours uh, as you're separated with your luggage, make sure you have in your day bag. Item number three, a cruise cup. On Disney Cruise Line, there are free soda fountains uh, up on the pool deck. They have juice, they have soda, but the cups that they have are like the small paper cups. And if you're like us, when you're sitting out by the pool, just enjoying the sunshine and reading for several hours, one of these little cups does not really cut it. So you have to get up and go back to the soda fountain. But if you keep one of these with you, this keeps your drink cold, you can fill it up once and uh, you're good to go. Yep. Also, a uh, pro tip, you can also use this to fill up at the soft serve ice cream. <laughs> That's, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> Item number four, a lanyard to keep your key to the world card in. Now this is only for people who are going on their very first Disney cruise. Because on the first cruise, you're not given one of these. But after your first cruise, you're enrolled in what they call the Castaway Club. The Castaway Club is basically Disney Cruise Line's like frequent cruiser club. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you get every time after your first cruise is a Disney Cruise Line lanyard. Mm -hmm. But for your first time, you won't be given one of these. And they're so handy because remember, on the boat, everything goes on your key to the world card. It's how you access your room, it's how you pay for stuff. And so to like have it in a wallet that you have to keep putting out of your pocket is kind of a pain. Yeah. So just keep it in a lanyard around the neck. So first time Disney cruisers, bring your own lanyard. Everyone else, you're gonna get one. Number five. Magnetic door decorations. So the stateroom doors on Disney Cruise Line are made of metal. So there's like this whole culture around decorating your stateroom door with different magnets. Uh, this is the Castaway Club silver magnet. You will get it again when you join Castaway on Club on your second cruise. Uh, we had these made on Etsy, Adam and Sherry. We had a custom one made for our 10th anniversary cruise when we did that. And this is one we actually just had made for this cruise that talks about our Leg Life channel. And have fun with this. It is so much fun to walk around the ship and see all the different stateroom doors <laughs> decorated with different celebrations and anniversaries and honeymoons and birthdays. Uh, so get your magnets, bring them and put them on your door. Item number six, a portable charger for your phone. So one of the things that we love about cruising is that these don't really work on board as phones. However, they work great as cameras and also the Disney Cruise Line app allows you to text other people in your party. It allows you to access the onboard schedule for what's going on. So even though this won't be a phone, it will still be um, a camera and a communication device. And so you, you want it to have power. And while you're on vacation, you don't want to spend a couple hours in the middle of the day back in your stateroom <laughs> waiting. Charging your phone. Yeah, waiting for your <laughs> phone to charge. So just bring one of those little portable chargers, keep it with you as you're sitting by the pool, plug your phone in, and you will ensure that you're always ready to take that perfect cruise picture or see what's going on on the Disney Cruise app. Number seven, Pirate Night costumes. So one of the nights on your Disney Cruise is going to be Pirate Night. That's normally the night where they have the fireworks at sea. There's a really fun show up on the pool deck and you will see people all over the ship dressed up as pirates. Now there is the whole scale from people who do nothing to people that just go all out and like 
full head to toe pirate costume. Now don't fret, if you forget to pack your pirate night regalia, <laughs> one thing that Disney Cruise Line is going to provide you in your stateroom is a red pirate night bandana. So at the very, at the very least, you get to put on your pirate night bandana and be dressed up a little bit or you can go all out. Number eight, a multi USB charger. So there are not a ton of outlets in your stateroom on Disney Cruise Line. And if you're like us, a lot of the devices are charged with USB. And Disney does not allow power strips, so you can't bring one of those. But what you can bring is a multi USB charger. Plugs into one outlet, and then you can charge all of your USB powered devices from that. So phones, iPads, anything else that's charged via USB, it's a great way to make use of your limited outlets while still charging all of your devices. Number nine may seem like a no-brainer, but sunscreen. Now you can buy sunscreen when you're on board the ship, but it is super expensive. Uh, and actually the stores on board the ship are closed when you are in port. And so what you don't want to happen is that you get to port, it's a beautiful sunny day, and now you have to find a shop where you can buy sunscreen. So just pack it with you, bring it with you, and then you don't have to worry about spending the extra money to buy it on board uh, or finding a place to buy it when you're in port. The 10th and final item, suction hooks. On Disney Cruise Line in the bathroom, there are uh, pull-out clothes lines in your shower. So it gives you a great place to hang up wet clothes. The problem is that there are always a lot of wet clothes. And right? towels. And towels and shirts and shorts and just bathing suits, everything. And so we've found that a lot of times we have more wet clothes than actually clothesline. <laughs> and so if you just bring some of those suction hooks that they buy, you can just put them on the inside of your shower in the bathroom. And then you can hang up extra things so that everything is dry on your cruise when you need it. Now there are obviously a lot of common sense things that you need to pack for your cruise as well. These by no means are the only 10 things you need to bring. Uh, <laughs> just these are 10 things that we have found have been really helpful on our Disney cruise and that we like to remember not to forget. We want to hear from you. What is one must pack item for your Disney cruise? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any Disney cruise questions, leave those in the comments below as well. We love interacting with you guys. We really love Disney cruises. We love being a resource to you and helping however we can. Uh, so leave us questions, comments below, and we will see you guys on Monday with the next Leg Life video.